Solar panels in space could power the EU by 2050. Energy has become an even greater concern than before, and it has to be clean energy, with climate change rushing onward to a scary peak. So scientists cooked up a crazy idea. What if we put solar panels in space? See, solar panels on the ground don't actually utilize the full power of the sun. 30% of solar energy that hits the Earth is reflected back into space by the atmosphere. Even more gets blocked out by cloud cover and nighttime. But in space, they would be able to absorb all that energy and more. We're revolutionizing space. We're doing things differently. Investing in our ideas and innovations to prove and deploy new capabilities faster than ever. Advancing space exploration with new business models and proven technology. Powering a lunar economy and deep space travel. We're shaping the future to make history again. the satellite would have to be 35,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface at what's called the geostationary orbit. It would revolve around Earth at the optimal position to catch the most energy. Current satellite designs involve solar reflectors over three kilometers wide and weighing over 80,000 metric tons. The satellite would be capable of generating enough power to fuel a major U.S. city. But how would that power even get to Earth? Simple, microwaves. The satellite would send the energy as microwaves to the Earth to be received by a giant antenna. The antenna would be three to 10 kilometers in diameter. It would absorb all that microwave energy and transform it into electricity before feeding it into the grid. How much would this project cost? Oh, just a few tens of billions of US dollars. It would take about 40 launches just to assemble the satellite, let alone the operating costs. But there's already people trying the EU is looking into the technology in order to fulfill its goal of fully clean energy by 2050. In fact, solar panels in space could continuously supply up to 80% of Europe's renewable energy by then. Across the globe, American startup Etherflux is looking to democratize energy distribution through its development. Their angle is to research transmitting solar energy through lasers instead of microwaves. It'll be much cheaper with satellite sizes at less than 10 metric tons and flying at low Earth orbit. It would only cost 500 million US dollars compared to billions. 